it's 11 o'clock and I'm just now waking up. That's because I ain't go to sleep till about 4 o'clock in the morning. My ass was just up, bro. I hate that my sleep schedule is all over the fucking place. Because I guess, I guess being that I get out so late, some days I be having energy. I don't be sleepy. I just be tired. So, so I just be wanting to lay down and just be up. You know what I'm saying? But I was just up. I don't fucking TikTok. I don't normally scroll on TikTok like that no more. Really, I get on and I get back off. But last night it was raining. I actually um back when I used to smoke. I think all my smokers know this. Or just people period with cars at the house. When you go and chill in your car, it's a whole different vibe. So I had to go to the gas station at like 11 o'clock in the morning. I mean, 11 o'clock at night. And it was raining. And I love the sound of rain. Like I actually fall asleep to the sound of rain type shit. And so I just was, I put my, my seat back and I just was relaxing in the car. Just with myself chilling in my head with my thoughts and shit like that. For about 45 minutes. <laughs> I promise you, I was I was in the car for about forty five minutes. I said, okay, bitch, it's time to go. It's time to go in the crib because I got too relaxed. I felt myself finna go to sleep, and I'm like, we're not sleeping in a fucking car game. But that be a vibe. Yeah, I don't smoke, but I haven't like just chilled in my car like that in a minute, and that shit felt so fucking good. And so when I got in the crib, I um took a shower, got in bed, and just woke up to about four in the morning. I thought my um whole I thought the whole thing was coming because I had I had bought a sectional. I thought the whole thing was coming yesterday. <laughs> but they split it up into two packages or whatever, something like that. So the other one won't be here till tomorrow, Monday, which is irritating me. So I was just I got too excited to come. I'm like, don't even waste your time coming over here because the whole thing ain't here. And so that's, I kind of ended the vlog off shitty because I got irritated, killed my whole vibe for the night because I told you all day I was just excited because my shit was coming, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, you know what I'm saying? I um I got it right there for the time being. And I had just put everything back where it was until tomorrow because it was crazy. It was all in the kitchen and shit like that. But it's Sunday. Y'all know on Sundays we clean. We chill, we vibe, we get ready for the fucking week. I want to go to Walmart because while I was on TikTok, I seen something I want to put up in my room and they have it at Walmart. And but y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm fucking, I ain't tired. It just, I don't feel like doing shit. Like this, I think this been the only weekend I had in a long time where I just ain't had no clients. I purposely ain't booked no clients this weekend because I just wanted to fucking chill. I wanted my Saturday to myself. You know what I'm saying? I wanted my Saturday to myself. So I've really just been in the house chilling because it's been ugly as fuck outside. I would pick the fucking weekend where it's not nice to be like, hey, I don't want to do no hair this weekend. But it's all good. I'm thankful for my fucking time I've been spending. Oh, I am finna go. I am gonna go to the um tobacco store to get my little stuff for my little hookah because I ain't hit my hookah in a while. And that's just because I just, you know, I ain't about the stuff. I got a public service announcement, y'all. And I'm going to sit down when I tell y'all this. Like, I know y'all see me. I know y'all see that I used to vape and stuff like that. But I'm here to let y'all know if you vaping, put them vapes down, bro. Put them down. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like a couple weeks ago, I had a couple weeks ago. You know, I vape, and people tell me I vape obsessively. You know what I'm saying? Like I hit that bitch, just keep hitting that hole. Like one vapor lasts me literally a whole day. Like that's how bad I would hit that thing. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's just there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, hey, let me hit it. Ooh, blah, blah blah. Anyways, long story short, my chest. You know what I'm saying? Like it be it. It got to the point where it's like when I when I um. It was one night I was home. I was home. It was one night I was home. Off, I was off work. Got in the bed and my chest started hurting. You know what I'm saying? Like where my heart is at. My chest just started hurting. And I would try to close my eyes to go to sleep, to try to sleep it off. But 
it made it even worse when I tried to go to sleep because I don't know if it was my anxiety fucking with me because it's like, damn, I feel like I'm finna have a heart attack or anything, anything major that like my mouth, my chest, anything major where I know can lead to a bigger problem. If it irritates me or something over there in that area bothers me, my anxiety instantly kick into the worst shit ever. Like my mind instantly goes to the worst. But, um, yeah, I didn't like the fact that it had me, had my chest feeling away. It's like it was heavy. And then it's like when I tried to breathe, I couldn't. It was like my breath, it, it took a lot for me just to get one breath. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was really hard for me to breathe. And so, okay, I said, okay, because all it takes is one time to for me to be like, okay, you got to go or something got to go. You know what I'm saying? So, I went two weeks without a vape. Let's check it up. I had went two weeks without a vape. And I must say, my breathing had got back better because before that night, my breathing was just, was a little off and weird shit was going on with my body when it comes to that vaping shit. But after I let the vape go for about two weeks, my chest wasn't hurting like that no more. It was easy for me to go to sleep. Um, I was breathing better type shit. Like, yeah, everything was back to normal fucked around i had went out i had went out with tootie and um we was in the car and um we couldn't smoke and you know sometimes you know nicotine is like that's 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 like a addiction it's kind of hard to step away from nicotine and it's like when you get around people with it it's like damn it's like you know what i'm saying it's like damn okay let me hit it type of shit and so we was out, we was drunk, we having a good time this night. I just was like, shit, you know, sometimes when, you know, I, I I smoke, I used to smoke. So it's it's kind of hard. I've been two weeks straight. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I, I, I would hit a black from here and there. Like, I ain't been smoking them, smoking them. But like, just to like, some days I hit that black. Like a black lasts me all week type shit. But I hate them. They so nasty. And so this particular night, we couldn't. We couldn't smoke in a car, so I couldn't get a black and hit that bitch while I'm drunk or getting drunk from the go out. So she she had a vape, and so she my nigga. Like, if I tell her I'm quitting something, she be on my ass type shit, which I, I love her for that. But I had snuck and got her vape, and I hit that motherfucker, and I just kept asking, let me hit your vape, let me hit your vape. You know, it's just like a kid asking, can I get some of your food, can I get some of your food? You eventually gonna get them some of your food. So she eventually let me hit that motherfucker. I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna hit this shit all night. I just... I'm feeling good right now, tight shit, boom, whatever. Hit the vape. Y'all, by the end of the night, I had my own. So this was like two weeks ago. The same shit happened. The same shit happened. You know what I'm saying? The same shit happened. And I fucked around and bought another vape. The same shit happened. But this particular time, I was with somebody. I was at somebody's house, and it was bad. It was so bad. Like, I really wanted to cry. I wanted to wake them up. I wanted to go to the ER. And I was like, you know what, God? Okay. Okay. So, put them put them vapes down. Put, put them down. They're not, like, you know, they bad things. You know what I'm saying? I'm not condoning any type of nicotine products. But if you got to smoke, my nigga, hit a black. Or just quit. Because I, 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 I know. I know how I feel to had that addiction that nicotine addiction because it is an addiction like it's, it's really hard to let nicotine go type shit but if you hit if you smoking them vapes this be game i love y'all i don't want nothing to happen to y'all i know y'all don't want nothing to happen to me let the vapes go let it go y'all know it's serious when i tell y'all y'all know i love my vape yeah y'all know i love my vape gang let them go just let them go let them go let them go because if you ain't gonna let them go, and you know you wanna let them go, motherfucker, uh, something gonna happen. Oh, he gonna make a way for you to let them things go. Cause you know, you know, when I when I journal and I, you know, when I sit with myself and you know talk with myself and meditate some days, it's a lot of things I personally wanna let go. And I know certain things you can't let go on your own, which is cool. Like the drinking problem, I'm doing really good with that, y'all. Shout out to me. It's been two weeks. I ain't went to the liquor store and picked up no Hennessy bottle, no nothing. Nothing. Clap it up, bang. I gotta clap, bang. This is my 
might be little to y'all, but it's big to me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't an alcoholic, but y'all know I love me. I love me a good time type shit. Like, I love to drink. Like, I love to drink. And so, like, I ain't been just going to the liquor store, getting a bottle, just drinking in the crib, getting drunk for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only time I've really been drinking is when I go out. Like, I drunk on Memorial Day. But I really was drinking wine, though. I ain't drink no liquor. I ain't want no bottle. I just wanted that little wine. You know what I'm saying? I, I do be sipping on my wine from time to time, but clap it up. It's been like two some weeks. I ain't just had the urge to just go get a bottle or just wanted to get drunk and just be in the house not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, sometimes certain things, it takes time to overcome and, you know, get through. And that was something I really struggled because of, you know, I got people in my family that struggle with all type of things and alcohol is one of them and it's just like I don't wanna that that's a path I ain't even trying to go on. So God got God or somebody gotta y'all gotta grab a hold of me ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Cause it, it was going bad. It, it, it was going bad. Like yeah. It was going bad. Yeah. I'm noticing that that with all the drinking I ain't really been doing. And all the smoke in my face is like, it's kind of like really clearing up type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, alcohol alcohol can cause acne. Nicotine definitely can cause acne. You know what I'm saying? And just over-stressing about those things can cause acne. Or, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh age fast. But... I just felt the need that I had to tell somebody because there's somebody out there that's vaping. Probably hitting your vape right now as we speak. Put that motherfucker down. Put it down, gang. If I can do it, I know y'all can, man. But anyways. Anyways. What is wrong with my... Something is wrong with my animals. Why is he like that, y'all? Like, what are you doing? He's so fucking... My animals are so fucking weird. They just weird as shit, yo. They weird. I think I'm finna make me some breakfast. Yeah. I think I'm finna make some breakfast, y'all. Cause I realized... <laughs> I realized... I realized I kinda got spoiled a little bit. And... I, I, I realized that I really only eat on the weekends. Because <laughs> on the weekdays, I be so busy. With everything I be doing, I don't be making time to really eat nothing. And like, I put something on my stomach, but like actually eating, eating, I don't be doing that. And I'm getting back in the gym tomorrow. Back in, you back on the game. You getting back in the gym, man. Because, um, gotta get your mental right. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta get right. It don't really matter how many times you got to start over. My nigga, I done start over about 50 million times. But long as you keep trying, that's all that fucking matters, bro. So if you got to wake up and do it all over again the next day, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? So just get right. But um, I'm finna finish straightening up my living room and shit like that. I'll tap back in with y'all to say. Second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it Saying if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high, hands up high Tell her put the lights down right now Put me in the mood I'm talking about dark moon Purple go, go I recognize your fragrance, hold up You ain't never gotta say shit, ooh And I know your taste is a little bit, ooh Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis With poetic justice, poetic justice If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when You're in the mood for empathy, there's blood in my pen Better yet with your friends and them I really wanna know you all, I really wanna show you off Fuck God, pour up plenty of champagne, coke nights when you curse this name You called up your girlfriends and your girl didn't that little bit Nigga, that ain't good game, homie, sorry They say conversation, rule the nation
Fiction, I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real. P.S. couch came I did kind of like prop the phone up and put my couch together y'all look gang there you go there go the living room let me see if I can zoom out yes period yeah so um yeah so this the living this the couch right here man it's it's comfy it's crowd like it's real comfy y'all like I ain't gonna lie to you it's real comfy tight shit. So now and so now I don't like my um, TV stand that I actually got because it make it kind of look too cluttered now and the black kind of throwing it off because you know the table is white with little gray designs in it so the couch is, the couch is gray and so now I think I want a white um tv stand i'm gonna get me a white little tv mount or whatever and so that's next and um that'll be it for um living room because you know ain't too much more you can do in this motherfucker honestly but um yeah everything everything coming along gang like yo i think the count the, i think the couch kind of like made it like it sparked it up yesterday type shit mm -hmm. like it's real like you real comfy, gang. Like you can lay down, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yo, type shit, type, type stuff. Oh, but yeah, it's um. It 
If y'all wondering what this box is, this is my own. This is my sponsor I gotta do. And I actually don't wanna, I actually don't wanna do that until I do my hair. Cause um, I should be done with my hair. Today, Tuesday, I should be done with my hair tomorrow. Cause when I get off work, I'ma finish making my um, I'm gonna finish making the, the hair I'm putting in. And then probably Wednesday after work, that's when I'm gonna, Wednesday before work, I'm gonna start on it. Then when I get off of work Wednesday, that's when I'm gonna finish. But, um, yeah, and then that's when I'm gonna do that. I, I told y'all I had some content videos. I don't wanna do my Q&A until I get my hair done. I had like a little sit down mukbang video I'm finna do. The cooking videos, like all my, I'm vlogging right now, but all like my content videos, I don't really want to do them until I finish my hair, y'all. Like I told y'all, I was, I was in the midst of doing my own hair, but then it's like, nah, you know what? I need to vlog, and so I wasn't gonna let my hair not being done stop me from at least just picking up the camera and vlogging with you guys, cause I knew this whole week I had, you know, a little stuff to vlog about. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But, um, it should be 11 o'clock. I got a client at 1130. I kind of want to, um, I'm, um, I'm getting back into my content. Like, recording myself doing her. Because now I can really, like, I'm just, um, and I kind of want to incorporate her videos. But I know when I was making like hair videos they weren't the best hair videos because that's when i really just got into like the editing and stuff like that um i was doing little hair videos but i kind of my editing skills been kind of like you know what i'm saying getting a little better and i kind of want to upload hair videos on, on youtube you know what i'm saying i don't know if that's something y'all would want to watch or y'all would like to see because you know i do all type of hair like i do all type of things and I'm back in that mode where I'm recording myself, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if, if y'all want to see me, if y'all want me to start recording for, um, <sighs> YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I just thought I had to pick up the, the camera. I had to show you guys, because I know I, I know I recorded myself putting it together, but I ain't was like, look, I ain't, woo, 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 woo. Um, yeah, I had cooked last night, so I gotta put all these dishes up. Like, I really can, <laughs> I really can cook though, like, for real, gang. Like, I think, I think I, I, I can really can cook. Like, to my next girlfriend, baby, it ain't always gonna be you cooking for me, it's gonna be me cooking for you now, type shit. Like, baby, I be cooking, I really be cooking, bro. Like for real, I can't wait till y'all see my little um. I know for a fact next Sunday, cause my hair wasn't done this Sunday. I know for a fact next Sunday, baby, I'm I'm um cooking my seafood, y'all. Like I really be throwing down like them little. I don't know if y'all be seeing little mukbang videos on TikTok, but my shit be looking like that, gang. My shit be looking like that, gang. Like I know, I know. You you, you tend to know how to cook what you like to eat the most, like. I know my best meal right now is seafood and pasta. Like, yeah, like chicken alfredo, any type of pasta, hamburger helper, even though that's easy. But like my seafood, but telling you, I'm telling you, gang. Like, I, I got some content for y'all. I'm, I'm in that mood. I said, my, I told myself all June I'm going hard. I'm going hard all June. My B-Day, my B-Day coming up. B-Day coming up, and you know, sometimes, you just gotta be tired. You gotta be tired to get to where you wanna go so you can relax a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I'll probably check in with y'all. If I don't check in with y'all before I go to work, I'll most definitely tap in with y'all when I get off game. For real, because I want to clean my, I want to fucking clean my motherfucking kitchen up real quick. Because when I get off work, I want to, I want to work out and get straight to my hair. I was off Monday, 
I'm taking off Friday because I got some things I'm doing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I, I ain't lying. I, I, I got the content ready, gang. Like, when I'm outside, y'all outside with me, baby. When I'm doing things for people, y'all doing it with me. When I'm promoting shit, y'all right there by my side, gang. Like, I ain't... Because I've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been doing a lot of stuff, but I just I ain't been in the mode. Honestly, truthfully, y'all, I had... My camera was fucked up. Y'all know if y'all remember on my Instagram, I had broke my um, phone... Like the whole entire phone, the camera, the front camera, the back camera, the whole phone just popped out and it just was fucked up. I had broke that and so it cost me $800 to get that fixed. And I'm here to let you know now, I, I know, I should have known because back in the day I used to always drop and crack my screens back in like when I was in high school and stuff like that. And I used to take it to this place called We Fix Phones or something like that. And they don't actually give you an iPhone screen. You know what I'm saying? They don't They don't give you an iPhone screen. And so when I took my phone, I knew it was going to cost me some money. I'm thinking like four, half of what I paid for. And so my this is why you got to go with your first instinct. Because when they had gave me that price, I'm like, no. Nah. I mean, because I'm getting a screen from y'all. I know my shit going to be messed up in like a couple of months or whatever. But... I didn't want to wait to ship off my phone and my phone get shipped to me. So I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to pay for this money because I had clients this, this like, I think I had, I think what made me do it, I had two lock extensions clients and I needed them to like, I needed to get in contact with them because I didn't have their contact information. So I just went on ahead and, and, and paid for the, um, paid for the phone. It had something to do with a client I was really wanting, wanting to come do it, do they hear so a couple of weeks, like, it's like as soon as I got the phone, people couldn't hear me on the phone. The volume would be just weird. The screen would go in and out. And then eventually it started getting worse. I kid y'all not, I got this phone and like three weeks later, my phone was like just shitty. Like just shitty. And so eventually it just, it just gave out. Like it just went, it'll cut on, but it cut back off. And I was like, okay, you know what? Um, I had, I have another phone. I had two phones. Actually, I had three phones. But one of the other phones are actually on, so I just had to wait till they sent me my phone, which it took, like, two days. It took two days. And so now, it's like when I got the phone, I saw the camera. I'm like, oh, shit, this camera kind of better than the last camera I had. So that's what kind of made me get back into recording. And that's kind of why I really ain't been recording, because I do not want to give out no bad quality videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, the camera was ass. Like, wasn't nothing wrong with the camera, but it was, like, some inside work that they didn't kind of, like, fix or something. And so, the con the, the videos, like, I had I had videos on my phone where I was recording off that other phone, but I was just like, nah, that shit just look, eh, not doing it. And so, now that I got my phone, I feel more comfortable recording because, you know, it look good. You know what I'm saying? The, the quality of the um, video is good. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still kind of recording on my um on my own phone right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm rambling. I'll check in with y'all later.